The search is on for a man suspected of carrying out an elaborate romance scam. A determined detective from Fredericksburg, Virginia, has been working the case for a year now. Police believe Fred Dick has conned at least eight women out of tens of thousands of dollars. Our Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey reports the detective hopes by sharing details of his alleged crimes and getting his picture out to the public, he might be stopped before more women become victims. This is the social media account that led to heartbreak and took a financial toll on a Fredericksburg woman, Dean Orion Constantine, not his real name, and the woman were both car enthusiasts. A romance blossomed. There was um, even mention of, of engagement and um, getting married, and, you know, she was, uh, she thought this was it, you know, this was the man for her. He allegedly said he was a Marine, sending women a photo of him in combat that turned out to be an online stock photo. He said he had to come and go frequently to care for a sick relative in Pennsylvania and that he was getting cancer treatments. Police say he got access to the Fredericksburg woman's credit card numbers, making purchases with them. He helped her pick out this $88,000 Dodge Laramie pickup. Well, on one occasion, um, he took the truck and never returned. And then she just finally started to realize, hmm, red flag, red flag, I think something's going on. I don't think he's coming back. Um, and this is when she filed um, a report with us. That was March of 2023, and Detective Gloria Mejia has been oh, so working the like case ever since, of... using cell phone data to figure out where the suspect had been. She found victim number two in Pennsylvania, asking over the phone, do you know Dean Orion Constantine? She uh, paused for a minute and she said, yeah, um, that's my fiance. I told her what happened and she was immediately distraught. The detective here then started working with a Pennsylvania state trooper, whom she credits with helping develop new leads and identifying even more victims. Now at least eight victims have been identified, but before charges could be filed, Detective Mejia had to determine the man's real identity. She eventually learned he'd once been jailed in Ohio. The hit came back to Fred Lee Dick Jr. A DNA sample gathered from a victim's home led to a positive ID. As she spoke to even more victims, Mejia says she learned Fred Dick would use one victim's money to buy gifts for another woman he was romancing. And she says his appearance seems to often change. I call him a chameleon because if you take a look at all of his pictures, even his Pennsylvania driver's license, he looks absolutely different in every picture. Now, she's hoping putting a spotlight on this case will help police figure out where he is now and enable them to serve the 40 pending warrants for his arrest. She also hopes it brings some consolation and a measure of justice to his alleged victims. When you think that you finally have met the one, and then for them just to turn around and just take everything from you, including your heart, you know, that's really hard um, and embarrassing. The detective also wants to hear from any other women who think they, too, may be victims. In Fredericksburg, I'm Julie Carey, News 4.